Hi there, friends. Fantastic video today. Stuffed turkey breast wrapped with bacon. Amazing. Don't forget, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to ring the channel, to ring the channel, to ring the bell, and subscribe, the, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Another fantastic show today, friends. We're gonna show you how to stuff a turkey breast. And the stuffing, we already released it a couple of days ago, so it's on the channel. There's two stuffing, actually. One I made last year, which is a, a traditional one, and this one, that I made with um, spinach and things. You'll see, it's really wonderful. Just check it out. There's two of them out there for you to choose from. So now, turkey breast. This is how you get them normally. Uh, you get the whole uh, turkey breast with the skin and, uh, and all that. And um, so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. This is basically what you get. You get you got it like this, right? So it comes with uh, the skin over there and the fat and all that. So I'm gonna remove all this. I don't need any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna remove it all, and what I do is I just take my knife and I pull the skin. You see, look, I take the, uh, the, uh, the, the boning knife, which is what you should have. If you don't have one of those, friends, I highly recommend you get one of the boning knife. It's very difficult to do this with a chef knife. You just pull it, look, see? You just pull, don't put it too hard. Turkey is a, is a strange bird. It doesn't like to be pulled or pounded or, or any other stuff, so we're gonna to try to be gentle with it. And uh, so, if you look at the breast right there, you got the tenderloin. And we're gonna leave that tenderloin alone. So we're gonna just take uh, that stuff right there out. We don't need that. And then what else we got in here? We got a little bit of fat right there we can remove. We don't need it. And a uh, little bit of extra fat right there. We don't need And now, we need to create somewhat of a uh, triangle, if you will, you know? So what happened is, is right here, I got this thickness in here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna open it up like a book, if you will. You see? And so remember the breast were like that? So we take the tenderloin, that's the tenderloin, that's normally what you get in a, in a chicken also, right? And you take it right there, and you, Open it up like a book. So now we have like a, somewhat of a triangle over there, okay? And um, so let me wash my hands. And um, what I'm gonna do, friends, is um, I see then that this is, a, this is a nice one. I'm gonna pound it slightly. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself a film so I have myself a, uh, you know what, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna clean that whole surface right here. I'm gonna put this back. Let me clean my hand one more time and I'm gonna take um, a plastic wrap because I can see that I can actually pound this one slightly. So don't go anywhere. I'm gonna get myself my plastic wrap. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna pound it slightly. I don't always like to pound it, but this one right there, if I don't pound it, there's no way I'm stuffing it. So I'm gonna take a piece of plastic wrap right here. I'm gonna take my uh, breast right there. Gonna have to wash my hand again. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We're having fun today, friends. And then I'm gonna take my meat pounder. And I'm gonna pound it slightly. Very little, I'm not gonna pound it a lot, just a little bit, because turkey does not like to be pounded, my friends, I promise you that. He doesn't like to be pounded, so. <laughs> he doesn't like to be pounded. Yeah, 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 there we go. All right, let me do this. All right, we're gonna pound it gently now, okay? Gently, gently, gently. I don't wanna smack it too much now. Good. Well, we got the triangle I was telling you about kind of what we want. All right, we don't want to pound too much now. We're gonna put a little stuffing. You gotta do it with the plastic, friends. If you don't use the plastic, there's no way in a world you're gonna be able to do that. So you have to do, use the plastic, okay? So, voila. Voila, voila, voila. There we go, okay. So all we need now 
is to put a little salt and pepper on the inside, right? And then we're going to take stuffing. Stuffing, we're not going to put a lot of stuffing because I like to serve it with stuffing on the side anyway. So we're going to put a little roll of stuffing right in there. Right there, you see? And then we're going to finish it up and wrap it with bacon. Yep, yeah. So you don't want to put too much. But you'll see we're going to wrap it with bacon. So right there, a little bit more. That's it. Don't, be, don't put too much. I always say don't put too much. And then I always end up putting too much. I don't know if you noticed that. But take it out of there and put it in here so it's not too much, okay? All right, so. This is mostly for looks, friends, okay? Let me wash my hands. Let me take this rag with me so I have a rag I can wipe my hand on a regular basis. It's a little wet. This is dry. All right, so now what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to use, I'm going to close it like this. I'm going to close it like this. Keep those two together. And then I'm going to roll this. Probably not going to stay the side of it. So you know what? We're not going to close the side. They're too thick. They're just too thick. So we're not going to close it. We're just going to roll it gently. No, nothing really difficult. All right. I'm going to leave it like that. And we're going to wrap it in bacon, friends. All right. Maybe I can use the, uh, I'm going to use the film to shape it a little bit better. See, so what I'll do is I'll do this. See, look. There you go. Yeah, so to shape it a little better. See, to take it to both sides like that, and you keep them, and you turn. Like you see, just like this, all right? So now we want to get rid of this. Now then we're done with it. <laughs> All right. See, now we have a little bit of a shape. Now we're going to remove it. Don't worry about the, it's open. You're not going to see any of that. So it's a little maneuvering, maneuvering, but easy to do, easy enough to do. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to move this. You know what? I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here on the cutting board. Because I have right here, friends. So we have it right here already. Laid out bacon. Okay. How do I do this? It's not that big over there. You guys are good with the camera over there? Because I moved them. We're again, we're here now. <laughs> Told them I was going to be here the whole time, and now I'm over here. All right. So just want to make sure everybody's cool with it. Very important here. How do you lay out the piece of bacon? Okay. You notice, if you have a slice of bacon, friends, on one side, this is the skin right there. It's nice and, skin and, and clean, right? And on that side right there, but this is not too bad, but sometimes you get a piece of bacon. Let me see if I got one over here. I'll show you the difference. You, got, you see, sometimes, well, this is not bad either. Well, this is kind of bad. Look, look. You see, that side, always in the bacon, if you can notice, they're always nice and smooth. That's the outside. That's the skin of it, right? Now, if you look at the inside, look at this. Raggedy over there. Not always good. So, when you lay out your bacon, you want to make sure that on, uh, you start with the top. You start with the top, and you put the raggedy side on the top and the, the straight side in the bottom. Okay, and, and, and then you'll see why, you'll see why in a minute. Because we don't want that raggedy side to be on the outside. We want it to be on the inside because we don't see it. Because you see, I'm going to put the turkey here and then I'm going to flip it. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. I hope I'm explaining myself correctly. It's probably difficult for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. But take my word for it. Do it and then you'll understand it. We're going to take that turkey right now. We're going to put a little more salt and pepper on it. And we're going to put it right on top of this, okay? That's what I'm going to do. We're going to take it, and we're going to put it right there on top of it. So I got to grab it. Obviously, this is not exactly stable, but good enough to do this. Stable enough to do this. 
okay? Remember, this is tur turkey breast right here. So, all right, it's, it's uh, solid enough to do this. Here's what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm going to clean this up, and I'm going to move right back here, and I'm going to move my, I'm going to clean my hand. I'm going to clean my cutting board real quick, and I'm going to move back to my cutting board. It'll be easier for me to continue working with this. This is not a super difficult, but you know, it requires it. And you know what the beautiful thing about it is, friends? You make this in advance, the day of Thanksgiving, all you got to do is pop it in the oven and cook it. You're done. This is going to take about an hour and a half to cook, and it's going to be perfect. And the stuffing, you put it on the side, you do the same thing on the side. So here's what we're going to do. Too. We're going to take it right there. We're going to move it on the side. Really simple. Going to make it easier to work with. And then we're going to close it. So we're going to go like this and like this. And like this and like this. And we're just going to close it. Really, really simple. A child could do this. You see? And this is going to become the bottom. You see, the top is going to be, you'll see, the bottom now is going to be the top. We're going to cut it straight now. Bacon is a little short, but the turkey is a little big, but it works out fine. It works out fine. It works out just fine, you see? Right there. It works out just fine. I love doing this. This is cool. You watch, this is going to be delicious. Oh, so if you don't want to wrap it with bacon, you got to use a twine. For those of you that don't want to use bacon, I totally understand. You got to use a twine. And for that, friends, if you were to, yeah, well, if you don't use pork, you're not going to worry. But I use a twine. Oh, you know, you can use that system when I uh, do the beef tenderloin. I do the beef tenderloin. I show you how to use a twine. Okay, so you can do that. All right, so look, guys, now, remember, this is going to be the bottom. So now, got to wash the hand again. Uh, I got to wash the hand again. Now I'm going to move it into a cookie sheet. I'm going to move it into a cookie sheet lined with a seal pad. You see? So it was not that difficult. It was a little tricky. I mean, you know, not exactly a, a cooking 101 easy recipe kind of like deal. The best thing to do right now would be to refrigerate it for a little while. Because then it's going to be solid. It's going to be easier. So you can make it in advance and do this. That would be perfectly fine. But I am going to take it and I'm going to say, come to Papa. And I'm going to grab it right there. Whoop! And it's going to go on my cookie sheet. And, uh, and you see. So, okay. So I agree. This is not exactly easy. But... You can play with it and have a little fun with it. It's not going to be that complicated, I promise you. The only thing I'm going to do from here, my friends, is I'm going to wash my hand again. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to put some black pepper on it. And uh, 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 a lot of black pepper. Maybe a couple of uh, a twig of thyme. And uh, black pepper. We're going to go cross, really, really coarse. Right, and that's it, my friend. We're going to bake this at about uh, 375 degree for however long it takes to get the inside temperature at 155. Put it in the oven. I'm going to uh, uh, time it exactly for you, and we're going to see exactly how long it took to get it to 155, and then we're going to serve it with one of the gravy that we already made. It's already on the on channel. This uh, stuffing is already on the channel. This is going to be a fabulous dinner. All right, we're going to pop it in the oven, and uh, we'll be back when it's perfectly cooked. All right, friends, it's actually just been an hour, so we're going to take it out, okay? It's right there, and uh, oh, yeah, baby, come to Papa. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me move this pot out of here. That's my gravy, actually. We, don't, we can just move it out of here for now. And uh, you know what I like to do, friends? I like to just uh, bathe it with, uh, with all that uh, uh, bacon juice, right? <laughs> Remember, friend, if you can't have bacon, uh, you're going to have to tie it. 
Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, friends. Oh, yeah, baby. If you could be here smelling this thing, you'll fall in love with me. I'm telling you. With this. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The smell then comes out of this thing. Oh, this is exciting. Now we're going to take it out of there. <laughs> Sounds like a... <laughs> oh, baby, I love my life. Check this out. Is that a thing of beauty or what? <laughs> And it's good when you got the equipment, right? Take it. Voila. Ta -da. Let's take this out of the way. And this is the gravy we made yesterday. We published the video already. We published the video for the stuffing too. So it's in there, friends. You got your choices this year. Oh, yeah, this gravy is amazing. Completely different than my traditional gravy. But look at this thing. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. When I made it, it looked like it was going to be a little thin. And look at this. Oh, yes. Yeah, perfect. So now, we should let it rest a little bit, friends. And, uh, and, and we're going to do that. We're going to let it rest just a little bit. Not long. I mean, it's not like, a, you know, a whole turkey where you got to leave it less or let it rest for a long time. But there's nothing wrong with giving it a few minutes, like a 10, 15 minutes of relaxation. So we're going to do that. And in 15 minutes, we're going to slice it. We're going to put a little gravy with it. And we're going to test it. This is a thing of beauty. Let me tell you, it smells. Oh, it smells amazing. I love it. I hope you make this, folks. Well, let's find out what it looks like on the inside. So let's give it 10, 10 minutes to rest. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. And we're going to slice it. All right, friends, give it a few minutes rest, and then we're just going to slice into it. And, uh, oh, yeah, baby, this is beautiful. You see? Very simple, my friends. Look at this. You see? It's gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you slice it however big or however small you want to make your portions. You see? And we slice it all the way around it. And ho ho ha. Ho ha ha. It's very hot. And you see? So slice it small, big, however you want to do it. It's really uh, up to you. Ha ha. And ho. Oh, it could have rested a little bit longer. So, all right, maybe we leave that right there for two more. Because this on a sandwich, slice it a little thin. <laughs> Let me tell you, friends, this is, oh, hey, you, stay over there, you. You're not supposed to come here. So here's what I do. I do this. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me, let me do something different here. First, you know what? Let me do this. Let me do this. I did it the other way around. What's wrong with me? Sometimes I wonder, you know? I should have sliced it from the other side. I wonder about me sometime. Right here, my friends. All right, this right there. Right there, you see? And all we're going to do, basically, we're not going to do anything real fancy here, my friends. We'll put a little bit of sage, because sage is certainly one of our herbs in here, in the stuffing. Thyme is another one of the stuffing, right there. And then we'll do, we'll do, we'll take a gooseneck, and we'll put the gravy inside the gooseneck, and we'll put this on the table, and this is going to be beautiful. Here you wash my hand, I'm going to test it. Bear with me one quick second, friends. We're going to make a nice a serving, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try one slice for me. Let me tell you, this, tomorrow for lunch, my friends, is amazing. All right? And of course, Thanksgiving, we'll make a whole bunch of sides. And you know, this week, you notice, we're releasing a video almost every day, right there. And we just give it this a quick little try, my friends, because I'm anxious to test it. This looks amazing. And it's going to be, and it look like it's cooked to perfection. See, it's cooked to perfection. The turkey is nice and moist, which is the whole idea. We want to make sure this is nice and moist. Oh, yeah, see, it's cooked to perfection. The turkey is tender. Mmm. The stuffing is perfect. Mmm. Oh. 
Mmm. Mmm. My friends, this is amazing. Mmm. Simple. The beautiful thing is you can make it the day before Thanksgiving. Cook it the next day, and now, boom, you're done. Okay, a little maneuvering, doing the thing, but not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, it's really worth it. I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. We're going to publish a lot of videos around Thanksgiving, stuffings, turkeys, all kind of different sides. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you again real soon.